Hello to all you gorgeous Godotians and unified Unitarians. Welcome back to another video by Game, game Day Day Journey. Day. Today, I'm comparing how easy it is to change the texture of a sprite when it's clicked in Godot versus Unity. At the end of the video, please comment on which engine you think it's easier to use. Please remember to like my video if you enjoy my content and consider subscribing if you would like to see more videos from me in the future. Footage in the background is of the game Kingdoms of the Dump. It's proudly made with Goddard, and I encourage you to check out their Kickstarter page by following the link in the description below. And now, on to today's video! Right guys, so here we have the end result and as you can see this is the Godot window and the idea is that you click the sprite and it changes texture. So here we have a little bird who flaps his wings. And if we run the Unity version, you'll see that it's pretty much the same. So let's see how to do it. In Unity or Godot, the steps for making a clickable sprite are the same. Firstly, in order for the sprite to detect clicks, it needs to have a collider or collision shape attached to it. Secondly, create variables to store the two textures which you're going to switch between when you click the sprite. And third, create a function which runs when the sprite is clicked and switches between the textures. All right, guys, so here we found ourselves in Godot. And you'll see what I have is uh, a simple scene set up already, so it's more interesting to look at. And the bird can fly to the left and fly to the right. But if we click him, he doesn't flap his wings. He doesn't change sprites. So that's what we're going to do right now. So we're going to go to the script for the bird. And we are going to add in two variables at the top here because we want to be able to change sprites based on these two variables. So we're going to add them as export variables. We'll call it icon1 um, and we can actually preload the sprite over here if we want. So we can go and choose this here. We right click and we say copy path. We can come in and paste that path right in. And we can have another one export bar icon2 equals preload and we go and grab, grab the path of our other sprite and there we go now if we go back to the scene view and click on our um, player here we have our sprites now icon1 and icon2 so we could we could go and drag in any sprite we wanted to use to these variables because now they're publicly accessible in the editor okay but we've loaded those two sprites one wings up one wings down the next thing we want to do is be able to respond to mouse clicks okay so in order to be able to respond to a mouse click or an input event in godot we need to use a function called um, input event and so there it is, it's a built-in. And we're going to say if the event is an input event mouse button, input event mouse, mouse button, right? And the event dot uh, button index is equal to the left button so that's button left and that left button is pressed then we will respond and what we'll do is we'll um, create a custom method called on player clicked because the idea behind ours is that they then click on the player so we'll call a function called player clicked 
Okay, now we should make that function. So that's what's going to happen when they click on the player. So let's make a function called on player clicked. And this is now what happens when the player is clicked on. You can put some output to the console if you want to, such as sprite clicked. So you'll be, you'll be able to know when the sprite is being clicked. But what we want to do is if our sprite, so dollar sprite texture, right, is equal to icon one, then we want to set it to icon two. So then we want to go dollar sprite dot set texture to icon two. Otherwise, we'll just set it to icon one. So we'll go dollar sprite dot set texture to icon one. Okay, so that should let us click the bird and allow him to flap his wings. So let's press play, click, click, and now he can flap his wings, he can fly, and we can make his wings flap as we click. If we want his wings to flap without being clicked on as he flies, we can easily do that in my move function here. I can just, as he changes position, call the on player clicked function and as he moves, he'll now flap his wings. So that's how you do it in Godot. Let's see how easy it is to do in Unity. All right, so here we are in Unity, and if I run the game, you can see that when the bird flies, if I click on him, he does not flap. So we need to make it so that he can swap textures when he's clicked. To do that, we're gonna go into the script so we need variables to store the sprites for the bird. So we're going to create an array or an, a list of sprites that the bird can use. So we'll put that up here, public sprites array called sprites. Okay. An array of sprites called sprites. Now what we'll do is we've I've created a method here called flap which is the method which runs when the mouse is being clicked the left mouse button is down it calls a method called flap at the moment flap does nothing but we're going to make flap switch sprites you can also output to the console here if you want to make sure it's working uh, something like sprite clicked but what we actually want to do is we want to say if the sprite renderer dot sprite is equal to sprites at position zero, if it's equal to the first image, then we are going to swap it to the other image. Uh, SR dot sprite will then be equal to sprites at position one. Else sr.sprite will be equal to sprites at position zero. So we're just swapping between two images. Um, and that should do it. Let's go ahead and test. Okay, so we need to add add to the to the list so there's sprite number one and here's frame number two and now let's try again so we run the game and we click our bird and he can flap his wings just like he did in Godo. so let me know what you think in the comments down below personally i feel that unity has a huge advantage over Godo in this instance because you can have an on mouse down function attached to any game object. But I'm interested to hear your thoughts. Please remember to like my video if you enjoyed it. Consider subscribing if you want to see more from me in the future. Take care and hope to see you again next time.